everyone, Tinkerman RC, and today I'd like to share with you an out of the box preview of the Starmax F60 90mm ducted fan jet. Alright, as you can see, um, here's how all the parts come in the box, what to expect when you open the box. Let's go ahead and preview and get each part out and kind of show you what this model looks all right, like. everyone, as you can see, we uh, have unpacked all the models, parts, and uh, let's go ahead and get this preview going and show everyone what we've got here. Alright, the first item we're going to talk about is the fuselage. The fuselage comes in two sections. As you can see here, the forward section is much larger, and we're going to talk about the aft section after I preview this. As you can see, there's the part for your nose cone. It's going to go. Obviously, your cockpit canopy and pilot figure, which I will be adding. We have our air intake here on the bottom. And as you can see, look how large the fuselage is. It's got a really wide cross section here, as an F-16 is noted for. All right, let's turn the fuselage over and preview the bottom. Uh, Star Max did a real nice job in installing that balsa to give you the structural integrity you're going to need on your landing gear system when you secure it to the airframe. They did the same thing here on the nose. Also have your uh, carbon fiber rods. It's going to go through your fuselage and to your wings to give structural strength. Real nice feature that they've done here. Let's move on to the aft pieces of the fuselage. And what we've got here is we've got the upper section of the fuselage and they've got the lower two halves here. And they're obviously going to go together, you know, and your fan assembly is going to set in here. This is where your fan's going to set in when we get ready to install it. All right, so that's a nice feature. That's going to make a real nice installation. And you obviously have your uh, servos and all the stuff you're going to need to fly the model. We're going to move on to the uh, wings. This is the left-hand wing and out of the box. Um, one thing I did notice that I really like, they did install leading edge slats. They also have flaps. You can see your servos for your... Uh, Aileron, your servo for your flaps, and the same servo is going to be running your leading edge slats. And obviously you have your cutout for your composite carbon fiber rod and then your uh, missile pod cutouts. So that's really nice, real nice. We have our missiles for our wingtips. They're a really good size. That's going to be installed on the wingtips. Our under wing mounted fuel tanks. They're quite large. Obviously, you can opt to install them or not, depending on if you want to put up with the drag. It will add some drag. We also have our lower pylon, lower wing mounted missiles, and they kind of have a small pylon. That's going to look real nice. And moving right along to the aft section of the airplane, here's our, here's our vertical stabilizer, and they did pre install the rudder, so we have rudder. The uh, engine, the ducted fan, let's talk about that a this little bit. This is the 90mm fan unit. As you can see, it's a six-bladed fan. There's your assembly, your two halves, your fan, and your case. And the motor I'm, I've chosen for this particular model is the Scorpion HK3026 1900 kV motor. That is going to be powered by a 100 amp Castle Creations ESC, as you can see here. So she should move along real nice. All right, obviously also some of the other parts that are in the kit. Um, got our decal, our instruction manual for the Star Max. We have our canopy here, real nice canopy. We have our left and right hand elevators right here. We have our nose cone, obviously, and you can see it has a weight installed in it for you to help out with the CG. We have our um, associated hardware here, everything you're going to need for the horn bearings and fasteners. Here's our S16 lower fuselage fins that go on the aft section of the fuselage. Let's talk about our landing gear. This is a really, really nice feature that they have here. All right, this landing gear is steel, and obviously you're gonna need a real strong retract servo, and also they have, it's spring-loaded. So they spring-loaded the struts. That's gonna make it real nice when you land. It won't transfer the force up to the airframe as much. And there's all your parts to do that installation. And then you have all your associated hardware, your, your tail cone, you have various panels that are going to fit in sections of the fuselage to cover parts of the fan when you get it installed for the missiles, obviously. Okay, so that is a quick 
out of the box preview of the Starmax F16 90mm. It's a great, great airplane. Alright everyone, that concludes the preview and overview of the uh, real nice Starmax F16. I'll get it together, I'll preview it, we'll get it out on the field. I can't wait to fly this thing. It really, really looks like a quality kit. You can't beat it. So I appreciate everyone watching. Thanks for watching all my videos and all your comments, everyone. Have a good day and stay tuned for more videos from Tinkerman RC.